Let me set up the scenario for you. You're shopping for a Taylor guitar, Grand Auditorium body, with a hardwood top, back and sides, and a satin, decidedly rustic looking feel that gives you a nice warm tone. So, 324C, right? Eh, not so fast, maybe it's the new 724C. Ah, we got options. Stick around, we'll talk about it. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee with Alamo Music Center in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you'd like to support the channel, you can visit our spring store linked in the description for customized t-shirts like the one I'm wearing. Super cool. Also, check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional, where we talk about things we probably shouldn't wherever you get your podcasts. So, Taylor recently unveiled this 724 CE. It brings Koa to the 700 series lineup, and we are already smitten. I love the sound of it, and I love the decidedly rustic look and kind of pared down appearance that it has with its satin finish, uh, unstained Koa body, and uh, very minimalistic appointments like the inlay. It's just a really cool, groovy guitar. So is this one. The 324C also got a recent update that we featured on our channel. If you haven't seen that video from Cooper, check out the link above where they have changed this. Now for a while, the 324CE has been available with basically these aesthetics, satin finished, a edge burst top, and a mahogany top. But in the past, it was paired with uh, Tasmanian blackwood back and sides. That has changed. It's now all hog. It's all mahogany, mahogany top, back, and sides, mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard, everything else is mahogany on this guitar. And that got me thinking, these are now two US made, satin finished, acoustic electric, grand auditorium cutaway guitars from Taylor that both feature all hardwood construction on the top, back, and sides. Now what do I mean by that? Well, it's all solid wood construction, that's not what I'm talking about. I mean that the top is a hardwood, it's not a softwood like spruce or cedar. And as we've talked about on this channel, that means that the response is going to be a little bit different. Now, typically when we're talking about an all mahogany guitar, we are going to be talking about a warm mid-range, a very punchy sound that also has compression to it because the top is mahogany. It evens out all of that, the dynamics. So if you need to even the sound out, particularly in like a studio in front of a microphone, an all mahogany guitar is a godsend. Well, a lot of those characteristics are very similar with Koa. It's a lot like mahogany, but it's also a little bit different. In fact, some people have described Koa as blending some of the best features of a lot of different tone woods, taking some of the low end and the overtones that you would get in rosewood, giving you some of the brightness and transparency that you can find in maple, and giving you the more warm mid-range that you would have in mahogany. Koa is also often used, like mahogany, for the top of a guitar. Now for a lot of people, they choose that for aesthetic choices, but just like with mahogany, it can give you a nice compressed sound while giving you that punchy mid-range that we like on an all mahogany guitar. And let's be honest, Koa just looks cooler, right? I mean, look at these guitars. Not that I'm hating on the mahogany with the edge burst top, but come on, that's really, really nice. The sides look good too. Oh, the back looks good too, because who doesn't like Koa, right? By t making this change with the 700 series, Taylor is using select grade Koa that they've been able to source to bring it to a lower price point than their typically Koa ser typical Koa series. They've changed the bracing on it to reflect a different tone and giving it this kind of what I'm gonna call rustic, earthy aesthetic. In a lot of ways, it reminds me of this guitar. Tonally, it reminds me of this guitar, but a little bit different. So everything else being equal, these all have the same scale length, the same uh, width at the nut, the same electronics. You know, let's put it through the paces and see what difference the tone would makes itself. So I did a demo on both of these, and one of the things I also did at the demo that I don't often do on this channel was play a little bit of kind of a bluesy, swampy sound in drop D because I think mahogany and all Koa guitars tend to lend themselves to a bit of that richness that you want in a voicing like that. So take a listen, preferably with headphones or really good speakers and see if you can hear the distinct differences between these yourself. Check it out.
So there you have it. Did you hear the differences? To my ear, the, the Koa has that warm, punchy mid-range, but it has a bit more treble than the mahogany does. So if what you're looking for is decidedly a darker sound, the all mahogany guitar will probably serve you better. But if you want some of that brightness and articulation along with overtones that mahogany typically doesn't offer, the Koa has that available. The other thing to know about Koa is that typically it opens up over time. The general rule of thumb is over a five year period, you're gonna get even more low end or low mid come out of the guitar um, when you're dealing with Koa. And basically it gets played in, the more you play it, the better it sounds. Although sometimes I think it's just age, honestly. Um, so, you know, you can debate those facts, but which one works best for you? The other thing that's cool on these guitars is dark hardware, right? You got the satin black versus this like bronzed tuners. God, they're just really, really cool guitars. I can't decide which one I think is cooler looking, to be honest with you. Okay, I can. The Koa looks cooler, but this one looks cool too. So at the end of the day, I think it comes down to the sound that you want and also what you can afford. The Koa guitar is currently going for about $34.99, and I think that means that this one comes in at about not quite uh, $800 cheaper, something to that effect. You want to check the pricing on our website at alamomusic.com because it all, is all subject to change. So this is under $3,000. This is $3,500 roughly in the midst of that. Um, this is a more affordable guitar. They're both expensive to a lot of people. Made in the US and the fit and finish is impeccable. You can't find anything wrong and they sound and play great. So you can save some money and go with this guitar, spend a little bit more and get this pizzazz. Which one are you doing? Okay, here's the thought experiment. It's your money, you're spending it. Which would you choose? Let us know in the comments below. For me, I'm going with the Koa one. I think the new 700 series look awesome. Uh, but I'm a big fan. And I'll tell you what, if you ever really want to try something out that's fun, get that, that warmth and that punchiness that I'm talking about, take a flat pick and just kind of dig in to an all mahogany or all Koa guitar near the bridge, really lay into it, do some palm muting, and you're going to see that there's a really, really cool sound that only comes out of these types of guitars. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos, and remember at the end of the day, whichever one you choose, the best guitar in the world is the one that you are playing. So keep making music and keep coming back and joining us. I'll see you next time.